Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, it's really hard to like smile with this on my face. It's so hard. Um, so anyway, as you can see in today's video, I think it's a little bit obvious, I am going to do a little Red Riding Hood makeup tutorial for you guys. Um, this was so fun to do. I'm going to warn you, this was my first time ever doing this whole makeup look, including the wax. So this was my first attempt and it's been alright for my first attempt. It just needs a bit of blending, but it's all good. Um, I bought this wax from Snazaroo on eBay. It came in like a kit. And I opened it up and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to use this whole thing when I just do this. So I didn't practice because I only had one of these. But as you can see, I've literally used the tiniest bit. So you don't actually need as much as I thought. Um, but this was actually a really, really fun look to film. Um, so all of the makeup products I have used today and literally all everything I've used today, I will list in the description below for you guys. If you did want to do this look for Halloween, then you can just click away and buy everything that you need. So if you want to know how to get this Little Red Riding Hood Halloween makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm just going to start with my makeup first. I have already done my eyebrows. Um, I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Prime Time just to prime up my face. So now I'm going to grab my L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Golden Toffee. And I'm just using the Karate F26 brush just to apply that. I'm then going to use this brush from the Vanity Planet 15 piece brush set. This is such an incredible brush and it just helps blend in your foundation, especially on your neck, because you don't want a mask. <laughs> so it's really, really good to just buff it in. So now I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. You guys know how obsessed I am with this concealer. <laughs> it's literally all I use. I love it so much. I'm then going to get my beauty blender and just blend all of that in. I'm then going to grab my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this Abode brush. I think it's Abode or Abode. A bogey, I think. <laughs> um, it hasn't got a name, but it's one that looks like this. And I'm just going to set my concealer with this brush, and then I'm going to move on to another brush and set my whole face. This brush is perfect to get right into your crease. And then I'm going to move on to this brush, which is from a body as well. I think it's a body. I want to say a body. Maybe it's a body. I don't know. <laughs> and then I'm going to use the same powder. I'm just going to set my whole face. So I'm now going to use my Taylor Blue Contour Kit and I'm going to grab this brush here, which is incredible, I've never had a pink brush before, how cool is that? Um, and it's still from Abode, and then I'm going to grab this one as well, from the same kit. And I'm just going to go in and contour, so first of all I'm going to, so first of all I'm going to grab this brush and mix shades 5 and 6 together. Suck in your cheeks and you'll see your natural shadows and just follow that line. And then I'm going to grab this brush here and I'm going to use four and five. So I think shade four is really good for bronzing and then five is more of an ashy tone brown. So that's really good for your shadows. And then I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques brush in shade two and I'm going to lightly follow underneath my cheekbone and this is just going to sharpen it. 
Okay, so now that is done, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to prime them really quickly with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to set that powder in place. So I'm going to grab my Crown Rose Gold Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to grab this first shade here and I'm just going to pop this all over my eyelid and go up to my brow bone so it covers absolutely everything. And then I'm going to grab this brush here. This is from the 15 piece brush set from Vanity Planet and I'm going to use this shade here as a transition. I know it's quite a dark transition colour but because this is quite a dark look then it's all good. So I'm just going to go in following my crease and just really really lightly working with the colour. And then I'm just going to go along my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to grab this dark purple shade with this a body brush, a body, a body. I'm going to focus in on my crease and drag the colour down. And then with the same brush, I'm then going to grab this shade here, which is sort of like a pinky colour. And then I'm just going to put that over the shade that I just applied. Then I'm also going to add this colour on my lower lash line. I'm then going to get this pinky shade and this pointy brush from the Abode set as well. I'm just going to pop this shade on my lower lash line. I'm not going to put this on my lid. And then I'm just going to go in with this shade here. They don't have names, these colours. It's really hard. I'm like, this one. And then I'm just going to pop this all over my lid. I'm just going to get an angle blending brush and just blend the colours really nicely together. And then I'm just going to grab this colour here with this Abode brush. It's just a flat brush. And I'm just going to pop this in my tear duct. I'm also going to put it on my brow bone. So I'm just going to move on to eyeliner. I'm going to use the NYX Liquid Black Liner. And I'm just going to do a wing. And then after I have done my very thick eyeliner, I'm just going to go in with some mascara. This one is the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. <laughs> and then for lashes, I'm going to use these classy lash lashes in the style Claudia. So after that, I'm just going to add some blush. Instead of using an actual blush, I'm going to grab this shade here, which is a really nice peachy colour, which I also used for under my eyes. And I'm just going to lightly pop this on. And then after that, I'm going to grab my Abode, Abode fan brush, and I'm going to grab this Illuminate powder, highlighting powder from the Ashley Tisdale range, which I... Look how nice it is. I'm so obsessed with this. So I'm just going to pop quite a generous amount on. So now it's time for the really fun part. I'm going to use this Snazaroo Special Fix Wax. Um, I'm not going to lie, I haven't actually practiced this makeup look. So I don't know what this is going to be like. But what I'm going to do is just grab a circle. This is what it says on the instructions at the back. So I'm just going with it. I'm going to grab like this much. Pop it into my hand. And then I'm going to warm the wax up by swirling it around. Oh, it feels weird on your hands. I'm going to roll it into like a bit like this. And then it comes with like a spatula. And 
And I'm just gonna pull, so this, I'm just gonna pull the edges downwards so it blends in nicely. And then I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Don't worry, I am gonna cover all these parts with makeup so it will be really seamless. And I'm just gonna grab a makeup wipe and really wet the ends of this, just so when I blend it in, there you go, it's a lot easier. and then I'm gonna pull through and make like a cut mark. So at the moment it looks so bad, but what I'm gonna do is grab my foundation and just put it on like a sponge and dab around it. So what I'm gonna do now is get another sponge and I need, um, and I'm gonna grab this color here and mix it with this one. So they'll be mixed together. And I'm just gonna go around the scars. I'm gonna try doing that with a brush. going to do I've got some fake blood here so I'm going to pour it all into the lid and then I'm just going to grab a brush like this a really thin one and put it direct into the wound <laughs> You're then going to go back in with your sponge and the dark purple shade mixed with the lighter shade and you're just going to go over that just to make it look more realistic. So now what I'm going to do is just apply some lipstick. I'm going to use first of all the Barry M lip liner in the shade Wine. And then I'm going to use the Kate Moss 111 lipstick. And then what I'm going to 
gonna do is just go back with the same palette, if I can actually open it. And I'm just gonna go back with them same colors and sort of drag it upwards. I'm gonna go back with the blood again and just go over. And then we're just gonna go over the wounds again, just to darken it a little bit. So this is the final result, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. It is so hard to move this side of my face. I feel like I've got Botox or something. It's really, really hard. Um, but anyway, if you have enjoyed this video and it has helped you in any sort of way, then please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're new to my channel. I wanna thank everyone who has subscribed and who's been supporting me. Just a really, really big thank you. It means the world to me and I'm just so happy. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.